Thanks for joining me. The topic today is how one can save a slideshow created in the Apple Photos application, the official iOS on iPad and iPhone application. So you can just keep it or send it to other people. There isn't an actual official direct way of doing it, but we can get around this. The first decision in this process is if you want to save the video with a title and the title will appear over the first photo of the slideshow. There's no way to adjust it. It's just the way the photo slideshow system works. If you want that, then you would save your photos to a folder and the name of that folder will automatically appear as the title on the first page of the slideshow. If you want to find out more about arranging slideshows, see my video specifically on making slideshows. But in this video, I'm going to keep focus as much as possible on just saving a slideshow so you can share it with others or keep it for your own needs. So let's say you don't want any text to appear on the first photo of your slideshow. You don't want any text in your slideshow. What you will do is press select in the top right corner and then you're going to select the photos you want to appear in your slideshow and you can still use photos that are in a folder but you just go into the folder and select all so here i'm just selecting photos from the main album but if i press cancel go to albums go into this album top right hand corner select and then select all that will create a slideshow without imposing the name of the folder in this case dense onto the slideshow so let's do that. So I've gone into the folder, selected all. In the top left now, I'm going to touch the action button. That's the box with the arrow shooting up from it in blue. And let's scroll down. And you can see the slideshow option here. I'm going to press slideshow, but before I do so, I'm going to pull down from the top right hand corner and you can see flashing in red already because I'm taking this video, but it'll be in grey for you. Press that button to start recording the screen. It will record the screen and it will record any audio that comes from your iPad, such as the music that goes with a slideshow, but it won't record any audio in the room. I'll speak a little bit later on how to change the audio, but for now, press that button. It'll show it's recording and then we'll go to where uh, the slideshow option and here we go now the cool thing is you'll have noticed the record the red flashing record icon is no longer appearing even though we're still recording the screen we've just got pure slideshow here and again if you want to adjust how the slideshow appears the music the length of the photos appearing how they change Please see my video on that. This video is purely about creating and then sharing the slideshow. So it's going to play through and we're just going to wait till it either reaches the end or starts to repeat. It depends how the settings are. Okay, so I think this video is going to be quite long actually. So what we'll do is just fast forward through like that. And Fast forwarding. Um, let's see. We're now on a loop. So let's. Yeah, here we're at the end. So let's say that's the end of the video. And what you'll do is automatically exit like this has done or if it's on a loop it will loop round. In any case you can just drag the top right hand corner down so you put your finger off the screen and drag down the control panel and press the screen record button so it turns grey and stops recording. It'll take a few moments for your video to save. When it's finished saving you'll get that notification which just pops down from the top of the screen saying your video is now available. If I can just exit this cancel okay so I'm going to exit now and I'm going to go into videos I'm going to select the last video I did which is here and I'm going to press edit in the top right hand corner in blue and see what happens at the bottom you'll see you can drag along the arrows at either side of the video like such 
and here we can just take it to the start of, this, of the video. There we go, it's black. The screen will be black. Just take some fine adjusting to get it on there. The problem with this editor in photos is that the longer the video is, the harder it is to isolate the exact screen. What you can do to get around this is just do a rough cut first to shorten the video. And then you can save it, then you can open it again and go back in and do the finer editing to get exactly that screen. There we go, it's black there. And then we go to the end of the video just before we, we saved it, we stopped recording. So there we go, the final part of the screen. And then we can press done, screen top right corner, either save the video as it is, which will write over the previous video, or save as a new clip. And there we have it. So now you can open that video in photos. On the top right hand corner, you can see various options, the blue box with the arrow pointing upwards, press that and that will allow you to save it to files, send it in messages, airdrop it to another device, post it in Facebook, save it to Google Drive and, and loads of other stuff there. You can obviously send it in an email too. It's ready to share and go. If you want to change the music or anything else, see my other video and it's all about creating videos in the slideshow in the photos app and it will tell you everything you need to know about that side of the matter. You'll find a link to it below this video. Thank you for watching and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments section also below this video and I'll try and get back to you to help you out if you need anything.